What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 and today we're going to be taking a look at year one, week six of the Philadelphia Eagles Madden 17 Connected Franchise Mode and yes, it is a 17 minute video. I tried to cut it down as much as I possibly could, but this may be the most epic, I'm going to try to make this as clickbaity as possible sounding, the most epic Connected Franchise Mode Battle War Royale that you're going to see on YouTube, brother. This game is fucking intense. If you thought the Pittsburgh Steelers game was fucking intense, this is has nothing on this one here. Um, hopefully it turns out a little bit better. Let me move this mic in here a little bit closer to me. But uh, big fucking game here. Big first divisional rivalry matchup for Carson Wentz as he hits Zach Ertz on the brilliant extension grab. That is so good. We're going to make sure that goes in the thumbnail. But, yeah, man, this is a first big matchup here for Carson Wentz. Unable to get any points on our opening drive. So now we got to try to stop Phil Sim or Chris Sim Phil Sims, the announcer, who was so annoying. No, Chris Sims, the third. Chris Sims. That's not his name. Charles Sims, the third, who uh, the Redskins must have traded to get from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as their starting running back. I guess Matt Jones wasn't good enough. Um, yeah, we need a we need a fucking win here for a divisional matchup. We're 3-1, coming off a high-scoring game. What was that? Eric Rowe with his third interception on the season in what might have been the worst pass I've ever seen. And you guys are going to see in a future video, I don't know, it actually might come out before this, what sliders I'm using. I'm not, I'm not fucking playing on rookie, but that was a rookie pass. What the fuck was he thinking? Like, that just stood there. That was, that was computer. That was AI right there. Like, well, good, thanks. Got these pink gloves, hot pink gloves. Thank you very much. So we are trying to move the ball here because, you know, Carson Wentz, he did have a really bad game against Pittsburgh. Who knows if he if he got over that. So we need to have a couple big games here. And it's, nothing is better than that big, massive, oh, fuck, big, massive pass and run for Jordan Matthews there. Uh, who we gambled. We, we decided that we're going to put Jordan Matthews not in the slot. We're going to have him start outside for a couple games. And he's paying dividends. He had a big receiving touchdown. I think it was like 70, 80 yards against the uh, Detroit Lions last week. And now opening up that... I think Jordan Matthews might have solidified himself as an outside wide receiver and got away from that. He's a slot guy tag. As we are trying to do big things with Carson Wentz. But what I was basically trying to get out was that, you know, that game against Pittsburgh. You know, beating a team that we're expected to beat almost in Detroit. That's not going to completely get the taste and shake the nerves and, you know, get that out of your mind. Like a victory against a divisional rival. It's not the Cowboys, it's not the Giants, but we're going to fucking do things like that. The unthinkable. Hitting Nelson Aguilar in the red zone for a touchdown. He didn't drop it, he managed to fucking catch it. It's the pink gloves. We're wearing those pink gloves all year round. If fucking Zach Ertz can make money catches and fucking Nelson Aguilar can make money catches, we're going to be staying with the pink gloves. And look at that fucking, look at that studs. Studley the Dragon for all you Canadians out there. Remember that show? Jordan Hicks doing the fuck. I don't even know what that is. Is that the Hulk Hogan? Look at that. That defense, though. You might think Eric Rowe's weak link. I don't think so. Three interceptions in five games. Money. As we all oh, watch this. Jalen Mills with the swag list. Oh! I'm going to act like he, he flipped his hands there. He's making a bird bird call. Or a bird flapping taunt. But second and 20. Big play from Jalen Mills. Uh, you know, he's not the best guy. Could have been playing, you know, Leotis McKelvin, Ron Brooks. But I'm showing faith in Jalen Mills, and he's made a few big plays. Got that interception to end the first game against the Cleveland Browns. And that was a massive tackle for lots to help us out, giving them the Washington Redskins. Third and 20, and the Vinnie Curry with the sack. And he just literally could not get that fumble any less if he tried. I was so, I was like, fuck me. That's that. Maybe that's what happens sometimes when you're getting too antsy in the game and you're fucking spamming the buttons. Your players are going to act like they're fucking Melvins. Look at this. Sack fumble. Okay. The ball, like, rolls in his lap. He just acts like the ball wasn't there. Look at that. Hmm. No, I'm not going to grab that. So, unfortunately, they got the ball back, and they did this. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Eddie Lacy, Kirk Coleman all over again. I mean, last week, he, I can't remember who he got burnt beat by. Uh, I think it was Anquan Bolin embarrassed Roddy McLeod. And then he just gets absolutely run over by the former Florida Gator, Matt Jones. You know, I can't always show the highlights from my team. Sometimes there's stuff that happens against me that is just too good not to include. Like, I could have just, you know, took the high road and uh, kept my ego in check and not shown that. And then fucking whatever. Who That was sick. Roddy McLeod is at an all-time low in terms of confidence. So now the game is 7-7. As the uh, end of the first half is looming. So we want to try to get some points on the board. Carson went stepping back and throwing an awful pass. 
awful, way off the mark, intercepted by Junior Gallette. I didn't even think he was playing. I thought he, didn't he kick the shit of his wife while he's with New Orleans or something stupid like that? But he kicked the shit out of Carson Wentz's pass right there, I'll tell you that. What was I fucking thinking? Literally, I got too cocky. I got that big pass with Jordan Matthews. I figured he was going to be money. Look, he's not wearing pink gloves. That's fucking why. It's conspiracy conspiracy theory. If you're not wearing pink gloves, you're not going to make catches for me. So we're going to need our defense to step up so we can keep points off the board. At least limit them to three. So Fletcher Cox on third down, getting his fifth and a half sack on the season here. Hopefully, you know, this is the beginning of the of the era of Fletcher Cox sacking Kirk Cousins. I hope he stays in the division so that, you know, because I think he has, you know, nice soft bones. So every time Fletcher Cox or any Eagle defender get to sack him, it's nice and soft landing on him. It's like a big old body pillow. But we were able to hold them out of the end zone, but they, we still gave up a field goal. So now it's 10 7. We're playing with a little bit of a deficit to start the second half. But we're, look at that tandem! Jordan Matthews, big time reception again. This is going to put a, what is it, fucking 150 yards? But. There is a flag on the play, and as I was saying in my earlier video, there is so many. I don't know what this pedal is going to be, but I get so many once I make a catch and run play. A legal block in the back. What is this going to be on Lane Johnson, it looked like? Legal block in the back every fucking time, man. It's bullshit. I got to figure out how to tweak that. Maybe I got to tweak penalties down a little bit, but it's not great. And the Carson Wentz with the fucking legs here. I think the most common thing is people want me to run with Carson Wentz, so here you go. Last week against the Lions, I got, I think I had two rushing touchdowns, or I had a rushing, no, I fucking had the rushing touchdown to win in overtime. So run the ball with him. Uh-huh, I do that shit, bruh. Then we add another 20-yard rush, a 20-yard scamper as we are moving the ball. First and 10, and we throw it to Elson Aguilar trying to get him to do some stuff. You know, he got the touchdown catch, he got the pink gloves on. So he's he's a new man. He's a whole new fucking man. He forgets. He's back at USC now, right? He forgets that whole rookie season. No more Chip Kelly. We got Paul Turner. Paul primetime motherfucking Turner on the outside. Are we going to try to hit him? I would fucking hit him. But we're going to throw it up to, I don't even know who that. Brett Zellick. The, oh! Show he still got some fucking tread on the tire. The ageist wonder Brent Zellick with a brilliant, I don't know what that was, 30, 40 yard touchdown, probably 40. Two, second reception of the game. You know, two tight end set. We don't see him as much anymore because, you know, Zach Hurst has learned how to block a little bit. And he's, you know, that top five tight end that we need. But when you need him, when you call him to duty, you know, no no shitty hit detection here when you call Brent Selleck to duty. He's going to show up. 14 to 10. We get the ball back. Back in the red zone. Hit oh! Oh, he holds on to it. Brent Sell. I fucking fucking forget a lot of the stuff that I have. I recorded this game probably like four or five days ago. Brent Selleck playing out of his fucking mind. First and goal on the one. Why wouldn't you just run it in? We get sacked. Perry Riley Jr. with the sack. I don't even think he's on the fucking Redskins anymore. I thought he got cut. Oh, that was stupid. I should have just fucking called a timeout. I don't even... Why did I rush it? That should have been a run play. That should have been a touchdown. A quick six points for Ryan Matthews. So now we're going to... Fuck. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Come on, C4. What are we doing here? Okay. Well, that's a little bit of the Jordan Matthews of the past. Trying to get that third touchdown for Carson Wentz. So I'm... Fuck, we shouldn't even... God damn it. Why did I just run the ball? Then again, this game wouldn't have been nearly as epic if I just ran the ball. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's what's best for YouTube. As we try to scare... Look how slow he is! You saw the 20-yard run earlier in the fucking thing. He was quick. What happened there? Please explain that to me. Why is the fucking running so hit and miss? It's so hot and cold. Sometimes I run like Michael Vick. Other times I run like I'm fucking Drew Brees. Or not even Drew Brees. I'm fucking Tom Brady with a broken kneecap. You know, it's fucking ridiculous. So they get the ball back, 14 to 10, six minutes left in the game. Still confident in my defense. They have not been able to block well. As we get the fucking, oh, sacked by Mike Martin, who's not even on the roster, but the boy, Fletch Cox, 91, getting in the end zone with that fucking fumble recovery, six points on the board, putting this game out of reach, 21 to 10. See, maybe the Eagles made a mistake. You got Mike Martin, fucking depth defensive tackle with the strip sack. I'm Mr., uh, whatever the fuck his name is. Kirk Brothers, Kirk uh, something family member, Kirk something family member. Look at that. Great play from the franchise player of the Philadelphia Eagles. I know we want to think it's Carson Wentz. No, it's Fletcher Cox. 21-10, to 10. Carson Wentz, let's fucking finish this game, bro. Trying to scramble again, hit the nice little Brent Selleck. Brent Selleck is having the game of his life, the resurrection of Brent Selleck. And he's not wearing the pink gloves. Maybe it's only Nelson Aguilar that the pink gloves really do anything for. But four receptions, 82 yards for Brent Selleck. Who needs... Zach Ertz. Well, I mean, I still really like Zach Ertz, but having these two tight ends, especially being able to get them involved in the offense, is always a great thing as we... First of all, 
Awful pass. Second of all, what are you doing, C4? Going to Nelson Aguilar in the fucking clutch. Just run it. Run the goddamn ball. Run the clock out now. Before the two-minute warning, Kirk Cousins with the ball. Doesn't matter. Gets a sack. Brandon Graham gets his first sack on the season. Been struggling to get sacks, so I'm not going to lie. It's going to take it to the two-minute warning. Third and 15. So it's about this time that we think, all right, Carson Wentz made a lot of mistakes. We're probably all right. No! They fucking marched the ball down. I was going to show you how it's by it was just dinking dimes and shit like that. So I'm just like, all right, well, fucking great pass there to the goal post, you fucking idiot. Carson, Kirk Cousins is terrified. He's scared for his life. We've got so much pressure. I think four or five sacks. He cannot stay in the pocket. He got quick feet, nervous hands. He's shaking. He's shaking like Muhammad Ali back there. So we're going to try to fucking end this game because I don't want any goddamn backflashes from that goddamn Pittsburgh Steelers game. I lose every game, and he fucking tries to hit the goalpost again. But his best friend, new goalpost. Put the fucking Jordan Reed jersey on him right there. More targets than Jordan Reed got this entire game anyway. So, third and goal on the floor. 43 seconds left. Surely we can lock it down. Our defense is tired. We got Marcus Smith in, which I don't know what happened there. I think uh, I think uh, Mr. Uh, Jim Swartz had a little bit of a stroke. Try not having Vinny Curry on. And then we let fucking Josh Dawson, in their first round draft pick. Make the touchdown grab. But whatever, right? It's still fucking 21-17. Uh, Unless they go for two. Which they're going for. All right, so 21-18 makes it a three-point game. There's no way they're going to get it. We've been shutting them down the whole game. We'll get pressure on them. we got BG on here. Just got a sack earlier in the drive. He's going to come up big for us. we got a little scoot here, a little bit inside. And all right. Awful coverage from Eric Rowe. Not surprised. So it's 21-18. Fuck up here a little bit. I'm just like, all right, fuck. They're going for the onside kick. You know, we're not going to – we're not an all-rookie where they're going to touch down. They're only down by three. They still fucking kick it off fully. So let's recover this shit. Get the hands team on there. And then Brett Selleck, fucking golden gloves over here, drops the fucking punt or whatever the hell that was. Fucking getting antsy over here. This is a fucking Pittsburgh Steeler game all over again. 21-18. It should have been 21-10. We could have ran the fucking ball. We decided to throw with Carson Wentz and throw an interception to Kendall Fuller. So then, okay, all right, Mar fucking Matt Jones turns into goddamn Eric Dickerson over here. Moving the ball down. You just got to keep out of field goal range. Come on. One sack. Even anything. They got Well, they got two timeouts left, but uh, just sack them. We've been getting sacks all fucking day. Vinny Curry with the fuck. All right. Well, that was a worm burner of a pass. Pass rush is there, man. Pass rush is on point. We're in his fucking face. We're in his face like a sassy black girl at Walmart, you know? The fucking analogies I'm using right now are simply incredible. You're not going to find these anywhere else on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. So Fletcher Cox is back on the field. We got Mike Martin off there, and he absolutely destroys Kirk Cousins. I don't know what I have to do to hurt him. I must have hit him 15 fucking times. Maybe I need, much like we're going to downgrade the penalties, because these goddamn illegal block in the back penalties are ridiculous. Maybe I need to up injury a little bit. But then again, knowing I'll do that, and then the fucking next game, Wentz and Vin Fletcher Cox will like tear their goddamn vaginas and be out for the rest of the year. So Sean Jackson, oh, Jalen Mills, come on, bro. Jalen Mills just... <sighs> Their field goal range, I just, I don't know. Wasn't, wasn't having a good time right here. You know, my controller's taking an ass whooping from that goddamn New Orleans Saints uh, Madden Ultimate Team Challenge, but it was taking a little bit of an ass whooping here. So, yeah. Well, Betty Logan blows up that play, you know, adds a one more yard onto it. Hopefully, these, uh, you know, special teams physics, these new, these new additions to special teams where you can block punts, block field goals, plays in my favor. I was able to block one in special teams, um special teams i was able to block one in preseason so hopefully we can get another one here uh, sims tries to beat roddy mcleod making up for that time he got absolutely r.i.p'd by matt jones in the uh, first half we got this shit okay we're gonna ice we got timeouts we're gonna ice the kicker all right this look i got a goddamn achievement boom what's that for blowing the fucking lead god let's ice him all right we decide not to ice the kicker look at this shit are you kidding me fucking made that by like one goddamn millimeter i don't know what that is for all you americans out there get with the metric system he fucking hits he almost hits kirk cousins best friend in the red zone there jordan reed the goal post somehow gets it in there i was like all right this is, it's one of these fucking games all over again luckily enough we were able to win the coin toss so at least the game was in our hands but with carson Wentzstone's interceptions and how the confidence system works in madden i don't really want to fucking pass the ball but we were unable to run the ball i only think ryan matthews Fuck, I don't know how many, 30, 40 rushing yards. We were not able to get off our blocks and really establish much of a run. But let's try to use either Ur the Selleck Ertz or Jordan Matthews. There you go. Is that Josh Norman? Wow, Josh Norman. Josh Norman trash. Josh Norman trash. 
Fucking God, you're trash, Josh Norman. We can't even cover Jordan Matthews. He's having a big day. Five receptions, 91 yards after the catch. I don't know how, what his total yards were. 150, something crazy. Jordan Matthews decides that he was going to show up here and help Carson Wentz in his first divisional matchup in the NFL. 21-21, epic fucking game. Not really epic because I absolutely shit the bed. This game should have been put away a long time ago. But uh, there we go. Big run from Jordan Matthews. We're probably going to see his total. Look at that. Seven rushes, 27 yards. We were not getting anything. That was one of his best runs of the day to get about nine and a half yards or so. Coming up in the clutch for us. I'm sorry, you're probably not going to be on the roster next year, Ryan. But if you somehow stay healthy, I'll appreciate it as we get one. That that right there is pretty much why you're not seeing any run highlights from this game. A lot of that. A lot of just, you know, fucking... It felt like a beehive in the fucking backfield. It just fucking shit around me. Could not get out. As we hit Doriel Green back in. What are you going to do, man? He's a fucking monster across the middle. Carson Wentz having an all right day. All right day. Not as good as 375 and three touchdowns, no interceptions last week. But he's, you know, two touchdowns, two picks. Hopefully, we can end this drive with seven. And then the confidence is a little bit up. A little bit up there. As Garrett Sproles in the backfield now. I'm not too happy with that decision. That's the last. That's the first thing I wanted. You know, we need to move the ball two yards. Let's bring in the 135-pound Darren Sproles to try to move the pile. Um, but we're, let's try to pass it. We got a great size here. What are we gonna do? Oh! <laughs> get it! Let's fucking get it! I think I actually spoiled it. I think that I said this was the ending of last week where I, I ran it in with Carson Wentz to win it in overtime against the Lions. Well, that game wasn't even fucking close. I'm sorry for uh, the preemptive spoiler. But Carson Wentz with the fucking clutch run for the 27-21 victory against the Washington Redskins. This was an epic fucking game. 17 minutes. Like, I mean, I hope you guys did enjoy this longer video. They're not all going to be this long. Unless they're all fucking epic. And I hope they're not all this epic because I fucked up while on defense. But Carson Wentz, 277 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. Added uh, 41 yards on the ground and that rushing touchdown. Had a fumble, so you know three touchdowns, three turnovers. Not amazing, but I'll let you guys finish up with the rest of these stats here as I wrap the video up. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Philadelphia Eagles Connected Franchise Mode. If this is your first time here, hope you guys subscribe and come back. This is only the beginning. We're going to do like 15 fucking seasons of this. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.